Welcome aboard, North Andover. I'm Gabby Griffiths, your host for this episode of the North Andover Journal. It's time to hear about all the North Andover happenings for the month of August. Are you looking for an easy access mobile bike shop for all your bicycle needs? Well, Pedal and Fools is the place for you. This portable bike bus, referred to as Betty, has all things bicycle, including bikes for purchase, a repair station, bike accessories, and more. Located at different locations surrounding the North Andover area. We caught up with the owner of the Pedal and Fools bus to get the inside scoop on this cool mobile shop. Pedal and Fools is a complete bike shop in a box truck. Um, so we're mobile, so we, we are convenience-based, um, pro providing pro predominantly service um, at, at your location. Bicycle tune-ups is, is predominantly what we do. I've been in outdoor retail for 25 plus years, and in that time I've seen a lot of the changes, especially in the bike industry, of moving more towards um, online purchasing, and, and bicycles are now going consumer direct as well. So um, having a service-based shop um, and also coming to your location is a really you know, a great benefit to the, to the consumer. We do have yep, new and used bicycles um, as well as helmets, accessories, tools. We provide um, bicycle repair instruction um, and a you know, full assortment of accessories and parts that you would need for your bicycle. On Wednesdays we set up a pop-up in North Andover at 4 High Street. Um, we're here 10 to 4 or on the internet www.pedalandfools.com. I'm going to be setting up the pop-up here um, through September. I also have a pop-up on Saturdays for, in, in Plastown, New Hampshire uh, at 91 Main Street from 9 to 3. Um, and the pop-ups are kind of designed for people to uh, come to us for small repairs, flat repairs, things like that. We don't run around, and I'm, I'm not AAA, I, I don't uh, provide uh, roadside assistance. So it, and sort of people can meet us here and, and do those services. Um, as well, I do family bike rides once a month, so I, I post those through my uh, uh, newsletter that I send out uh, monthly, and also on my Facebook page, uh, Pedal and Fools is also on in Instagram, so you can follow us there and get up-to-date information. After a brief three-year hiatus, the North Andover community was finally able to get together once again with their police officers as part of the annual National Night Out celebration and all in attendance were in agreement that this national night out was a total success. We got the inside scoop down on the field with the journal's very own Ron Carpenito. Let's recap all the fun happenings that went on that night. Hey everybody, Ron Carpenito, your host from the journal out here on the field at Hayes Stadium for the 38th annual National Night Out. And I'm gonna head out with my show producer right now. We're gonna meet some people, maybe say hi to some kids, say hi to some police officers, and see you know, what the heartbeat feels like down here on the field. Hey, check it out, I'm down here at National Night Out. It's our first booth. We're gonna interview two great guys in our community. It's, it's Bob and John, and they're head of our VFW Post 2104 in town and John wants everyone to know hey first off we're looking for some new members so if you are a local veteran please come on down join the post have some fun get some support and, and, and be part of our community in this way we're happy to have you and we need you how many how many years have you guys been down here supporting National this Night Out? This is our first time we've been invited. It's your first time wow first okay time invited, so wow feels have. good you made the big what leagues. What we're going to do next year? <laughs> it's It'll be a lot second different. year for me but it, it's really the town comes out and really enjoys it. Yeah. And there's a lot of events going on. We love it, and we need it. We need it more than ever this year, North Andover. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks. Can I have one other thing? Here. Yeah. What do you got? We're looking for North Andover Vietnam vets. Okay. If they can uh, get in touch with us, we need the service they were in, their rank, and what years they were in Vietnam. We're going to put their names on the memorial. Perfect. Up behind the high school. All right. You can get that out for us. Perfect. Thank well, thank you, Bob and John here from our VFW post in town. Thanks so much. All right, we're here at our next table, and it's the North Andover Merchants Association. They do so much great things uh, for North Andover with all their members and uh, the community outreach. And I'm here with Treasurer Amy LaMarche and board member Michael Hurley. And uh, what, what's going on, guys? Welcome to National Night Out. Now, what does it mean to you guys to be part of National Night Out after what happened last year? I mean, is this amazing or what? It's, uh, 
it's going to start somewhere, right? So right. the event this year, I think, is probably not as large as it's been in the past. So sure. it's a little bit of a mixed blessing, but frankly, I think we're just happy to be out we're here having a good time. again. All right, we're right, The it. music is going. It's a beautiful night. There's so a vibe can, in the air. How can you go wrong? Right. Very excited. Amy, yeah. good yeah. to see you as always. Amy's yeah. the treasurer, actually, and that's no yeah. easy task of an association. <laughs> we got some money coming in. I sorted yeah. out and paid the bills. Keep everything in line. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's not an easy yeah. job. But you so. know what we are? We're doing well. We have a lot of members. We right. actually built memberships during you did. COVID. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's yeah. a challenge, right? A lot of yeah. businesses were struggling and, yeah. and looking for solutions and answers, and maybe the, the, the association right. stepped up to help. I'd say we're probably 20%, you think? Yeah. 20% growth this past year. Congratulations. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks so much right. for being here tonight. Right. Awesome. And best Appreciate of luck with your events coming. Perfect. Take care. Yep. Check out the things you see here at National Night Out. What do we have here, Officer Tom? A tangu? It's a tangu. Tang I can't hear you. Tangu. <laughs> There's no end. But it's okay. All right. So we got it's a big lizard. Can I touch him? Ooh. No, he doesn't mind at all. And are those just because his nails are long? That's awesome. Well, thanks for bringing him out tonight. All right. All right, I'm at the hottest spot at National Night Out right now. It's the food line. We got, what do we got? We got hot dogs, hamburgers, what else? We got chips and drinks. Chips and drinks. It's the mainstay of National Night Out. Officer Pollitt, about how many hamburgers and hot dogs are you going to cook tonight? Uh, I have no idea. What, a thousand? A thousand each. A thousand of each. What's it mean to you to be back tonight after being off last year? It's nice, you know, getting out with the community and you know, everything's been shut down. You know, right. Go, right. Oh, right thank you. We, yeah. So it's just nice having everyone back out and seeing the community and uh, interacting with everyone. Absolutely, yeah. Is this your first uh, time at National Night Out or have you been here? This is your first night with us? First time. Oh, wow, that's great. Thanks for coming. It's fantastic, yeah. I'm glad to be here. Glad to help everyone out and uh, you know, see all the faces. And it's a huge success, with. right? Oh, you're, you're from town. Absolutely. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, we had a great turnout tonight and hey, come on down. we we'll get some hot dogs still. Mm -hmm. What a night it's been here for North and over in our whole community. Super big thanks to our North Andover Police Department for putting this all together. It's been our national night out. Uh, we missed it last year. We're so glad to be back. Mother Nature, she kicked in and contributed to a great evening for everybody. And if you want to catch all the action and all the interviews, make sure to check it out on our camp channel. If you want to see a full recap of the National Night Out celebration, be sure to stay tuned to our CAM Access channel, which is Channel 22 for Comcast Xfinity subscribers and Channel 24 on the Verizon Fios system. Verizon subscribers can also view the program in high definition on Cam HD, which can be found on channel 2124. You can also watch through our website on the video on demand section listed at the link below. We're happy to be back with another town update from North Andover's very own town manager, Melissa Rodriguez. Let's catch up and see what's been happening in our town for the month of August. Hi, I am Melissa Rodriguez, the town manager, coming to you from Town Hall, which is now open. And we welcome you all to come back and see us, as well as at the Senior Center, and Library, and the Youth Center. We are so excited to be back here in the buildings and have the doors open and able to see all of you. But on top of that, we are seeing COVID cases starting to slowly creep up. We want to make sure that we continue to be diligent. Currently, about 70% of North Andover residents are vaccinated. And vaccines are available in town and in Lawrence. And if you have trouble finding an appointment, us in the town manager's office are happy to help you. We are encouraging people to get vaccinated in order to keep our vulnerable populations and our children safe. We look forward to starting school in just a few weeks. And I know that Superintendent Gilligan and the school committee are working to make sure that all precautions are in place for a safe and in-person start to school. I'm excited to report that we have finally closed on the property for the Senior Center and had our first construction meeting just last week. I look forward to our groundbreaking and just starting to see that building come into shape. We anticipate about an 18 month construction schedule. Um, and so it's still a little while that you'll be coming to visit us back here at the Town Hall parking lot, but it won't be long before we'll be able to welcome you into a new 12,000 square foot senior center. And I look forward to that day. I am hosting office hours here at Town Hall on September 1st. The first half is by appointment and the second half is an open conversation. Uh, there's more information on that on our website. And again, that's September 1st. The Affordable Housing Trust has just announced a down payment program for housing. It is for first time home buyers or those who do not currently own a home and applications and more information on that 
will be available on our website shortly. I want to thank VIEW Center for a very successful summer fun program. It was a lot of fun for all of our kids. Our counselors worked exceptionally hard to keep everyone safe, and it was a great summer once again. And I want to thank the police department, especially Chief Gray, for an amazing national night out. I wasn't able to be there because I was on vacation, but I enjoyed seeing all of the pictures of everyone coming together as a community. And I look forward to seeing you all again this year at many events. Thank you. It's time to share the love with some stylish outfits. North Andover's Share the Love Consignment, located at 85 Main Street, just celebrated their first anniversary. They pride themselves on having several stylish clothes, accessories, and more for an amazing price. They also do lots of work for the community by accepting clothing donations, as well as giving out their excess clothes and supplies for people who are in need. Let's check it out. The reason why I decided to start this endeavor a year ago, hard to believe it's already been a year, is because I knew that there was such a need for this type of um, shop in the community. Um, you know, we were kind of really lacking sort of that mid-tier um, consigner where people could feel free to come in and browse about. But I, you know, it's not really about the brands here. I have everything covered. Um, I have a young women's section, you know, and I know they love all sorts of different brands that we as uh, women love. So um, really runs the gamut. You know, um, and it also runs the gamut um, from with regard to sizes as well. So I like to say that I have something for everyone here at Share the Love Consignment. We have a small designer section, you know, where I've been really thankful to get some gorgeous pieces because who wants to pay full price for anything, let alone those? We have pants, jeans. Um, so many tops, you know, you just, you know, the racks get so full sometimes that we have to go through and really strategically purge from time to time. The beauty of that is we've been able to give uh, over 40 kitchen garbage bags full of clothing to local organizations, not-for-profits in need in the community that we've identified. That give, you know, that give the clothing directly to people who, who need it. Friday, August 6th is the one year anniversary of when we opened the shop. Um, it's just amazing. I actually have over 600 consigners who bring me items and it just, the love keeps coming. So it's just been really fun to get to know all of these different people. Um, many who I had never met before, you know, if it weren't for here. And that's really what it was all about for me, you know, the relationship part. Um, I've always loved helping people, but just getting to know people and share joy, um, you know, throughout the community. And I have Anastasia here from Style & Press US. She actually does my mannequins for me and does such an amazing job. Every week she comes in just with a smile and gets to work very quickly and in about an hour she has all four mannequins looking amazing. As a personal stylist, um, basically my job is to make people look beautiful, make them look comfortable and um, like their reflection in the mirror. And uh, everything that goes into it, I'll do anything. Consignment, um, the way store operates, it really falls along with my personal beliefs that fashion is fashion and it's great, it's an art. But people, regular people, um, on a daily basis, they would like to look beautiful with what they have in the closet. And there is definitely a way for doing this. And any piece of clothing can be reused and styled in a new way. And uh, this is why I joined Stephanie here and asked her if she would love to have me here and show an example of what I can do with some of the stuff that she already has on the shelf. And at the end, I just would love to invite people to follow my Instagram or Facebook page, and that's at Style and Press US. Hopefully, you'll find some good info in there. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and also on Facebook at Share the Love Consignment. And actually, you can shop um, through our Facebook page if you go down to where it says Shop, uh, the Shop tab. Um, or you can go right on our website at sharetheloveconsignment.com and take a look at all the beautiful items that we have available. Uh, or just feel free to give me a call and tell me what item you're interested in and I'll hold it aside until you get here to pick it up and even pay for it. Thank you so much. Here at the Journal, we are always on the lookout for a great North Andover news story or even a fresh new idea for a show feature or segment. So if you have any ideas or exciting news, please let us know by emailing our show director, me, at the link below. 
we want to take a moment to send a shout out to our sponsors that air the journal every day. Next time that you're on the lookout for a good local eatery, visit any of these locations and watch the journal on their TVs as you enjoy some great local North Andover food. Thanks again for joining us and be sure to keep an eye out for future episodes. And from all of us here at the journal, I'm your host Gabby Griffiths and thanks for watching.